Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to compute the normalized difference water index on a Sentinel-2 image in QGIS. So the workflow is very quick. We're just going to do a little bit of simple math in raster calculator. But before we do that, uh, let's look at what we're dealing with. Um, here are the 12 spectral bands of the MSI instrument. Um, today we're going to be using band 8 in the near infrared and band 3 in the visible. Band 3 is the green wavelength. And to understand why we're using these wavelengths to identify water, it makes sense to look at the reflectance spectra of water. Um, that's shown here in the black line. Uh, we have wavelength on the x-axis and we have reflectance on the y-axis. And this lowermost black line is for relatively pure water with low total dissolved solids or low turbidity at 35 milligram per liter. And you can see that this pure water has a relatively uh, high reflectance in the green, has low reflectance in the infrared. So if we subtract the green value from the infrared value, we should get a large number for water that should help us distinguish it from other materials like rock. However, uh, we know that simply differencing these two bands is not enough. That's because uh, different scenes can have different illumination. Some can be brightly lit on a sunny day or dimly lit on a cloudy day. That's going to potentially change the absolute magnitude of this difference, especially if you were not working in reflectance. Maybe you were working in radiance or digital number or something like that. So to make sure uh, we're not biased by different illumination conditions, we're going to also divide that difference by the total. So it's going to be green band minus near infrared divided by green band plus near infrared. That's called normalization. That's where the N comes in. Uh, so in Sentinel, uh, this is going to translate, this general formula is going to translate to band 3 minus band 8 divided by band 3 plus band 8. So let's go do that in QGIS. It's very simple. In this case, we're trying to extract all of the water pixels for Lake Powell, uh, a reservoir in the western US. We've already clipped it here. And now we're just going to go uh, to our processing toolbox and find raster calculator. Open that up. And uh, it's very simple. Uh, one thing to note is that um, in our band stack, the way we stacked it, it was 2, 3, 4, and 8. So when we actually do our math uh, to get band 3, that's actually going to be band 2 here. And band eight, the original band 8 is going to be band 4. And then we're going to divide by band 2 plus band 4. All right, so that's our formula. As always, we need to set our reference layer. Uh, we'll set it to be the clipped mask. And we're going to uh, output to a temporary file. And we'll hit Run. So that finished, and our uh, NDWI layer popped up. I'm just going to go ahead and rename that as NDWI. And right away, you can see the highest values are sitting over the water pixels of Lake Powell. Um, join us in our next video. We're going to play around with thresholding this at different thresholds and ultimately reclassifying it into a binary uh, water mask. Thanks.